the installation is pretty simple and the interface looks a lot like taken from windows 7 directly the same that we had in windows uh, 7 running i guess so installation is not much a problem but uh, getting through with whole of the installation is sometimes making problem because uh, this operating system needs two features needs to be enabled one is secure boot and tpm so if you want to bypass these you have to do one small trick that is to take the ISO of Windows 10 and then head over to the sources folder and then copy all the files except for install.esd or install.wim if I'm not wrong and then copy them to the sources folder of the Windows 11 which you have flashed on the USB if you don't know how to flash I have a video about flashing uh, ISO files to USB to make them bootable just head over there so that you can continue So let us just create a new folder over here so right click new folder and let us see if they have got rid of all the windows 95 things that were there in the operating system um, if we go to customize then change icon and here we find that the nine windows 95 icons are still over there and uh, they have not been updated so let us try this one okay and first things first we are greeted by this clean looking desktop experience and i would say that it's definitely the same and i had said the same thing that microsoft would not be changing much with the desktop that is a traditional experience they will be keeping that and talking about the taskbar we find that the icons have shifted to the central part. They are following the the design of Windows 10X, and uh, even the start button. If we click there, uh, we are going to see that it's following the Windows 10X design pattern uh, up to a great extent. And now, 
if you see uh, the next button that is a search button the search has been modified up to some extent and uh, it has been changed now we'll be moving back to this taskbar experience and the things that has been added later now let's talk about the file explorer so if we see the file explorer we find that uh, nothing much has changed quite and this these uh, icons have changed so what i think that these definitely imported from the 20h2 21h2 version of windows 10 that they had been planning but uh, i find that the file explorer has not been changed up to that uh, extent as it was expected i mean as they had teased in the um, video even with uh, their fluent design system it is not very much consistent and if we see to through the tabs we find that they are all the same thing that has been there and one new thing is that the item check boxes are enabled due to some reason there has been there was a restart of the windows explorer now there was a lot of problem to get this thing running on this uh, laptop uh, i mean this is running on the a uh, virtual um, it, it is running on vmware since virtual box did not work due to some reason now item check boxes are enabled by default and if we uh, put the mouse on these the information tab this uh, small menu or uh, the balloon that comes up to show the information that is definitely the old one i think yes that is based on the old design so that does not go quite consistently with the new modern looking user interface so i think some changes uh, such small detailed changes will be coming up soon and um, just hoping for the best that's all that i can say now um, if you see this um, this is basically the same file explorer that has been ported from uh, the normal windows 10 that we had we had been using the same thing from four years now and the same thing has been ported with some desk uh, with some icon changes that's all that has been added here but now um, we remember microsoft uh, us uh, we had an access to a new file explorer as we remember if we enter that uh, small little destination to check if the there is any change in the app but no that is the same uh, modern file explorer that they had been creating but there is no changes uh, changes that has been done with the windows 11 version of this file explorer still uh, keep keeping the same hopes that they will change these because the file explorer definitely does not go with the modern user interface now let us just move over to some other applications and see that what kind of changes they have made after this thing so let's go to the settings app if we go head over to the settings app we find that the icon has changed with a new splash screen but uh, the settings app looks very much same like the one that we had already in windows 10 so i think this will also be changed so basically uh, this is the dev version as you can see now uh, what i think is that this uh, version of windows 11 is very much a preliminary build of windows 11 uh, which has been leaked uh, which got leaked rather but we are going to get some changes in the settings in uh, the file explorer interface of the apps that are running here soon in windows uh, 11 that might be launched that will be launched on the 24th we'll get to know more about these now let us go uh, and talk and talk about the other experiences that has been changed and uh, if you see the action center and these are the same things but with rounded icons that has been imported from windows 10 directly but again the rounded icons uh, rounded corners had been uh, implemented now turning on and off 
all these widgets also have the same animation now, they don't have much to change here they could have imported all these from windows 10x i guess that would have been much better and uh, the interface there looks much cleaner than what we see here also the same thing out here we are having the same same uh, animations the same uh, look over here happening over here so let me just close this and also the brightness and the volume lock rocker they have the same uh, look out here they have not been updated since uh, windows 8 perhaps now if we head over to the search bar it has been changed up to some extent uh, if we see the old start uh, search bar it is a bit different from this one and this one all everything has rounded corners and uh, from lower part it has been moved up to to the upper part the search and if we search anything over here for example if we search for settings we're getting all these tabs that we had already to change the type of search we have the best match over here and the other settings that are coming up in the down here other options and also the search the web option where we if we click on this then it heads over to microsoft edge to do the search now and the default search engine as we know they will be using bing now right clicking on the taskbar does not show that extensive uh, list that come up generally but instead it shows just one option that is the taskbar settings if we head over there these are all disabled since my version of windows 11 is not activated and uh, we can change the alignment to left or right we can uh, uh, remove or enable the widgets button these are basically the options that you can see you can enable and disable many new settings have been added here uh, with uh, the settings app now if we head over to the device usage we can see that uh, we can select the plan uh, how we plan to use this device from here such we such as we can use it for uh, if you are using it for gaming for creative purposes or your family is going to use it school work so basically i think windows will be changing the experience from the options selected over here and optimize the system according to the need of the user so if we head over to the start button start uh, tab here uh, also we get some options like uh, show recently added apps show most used app and show recently opened items and start jump lists and file explorer now fonts part it's basically the same over here now going to the themes section i had expected some new themes over here but uh, they are here but not as high as my expectation were were, were with uh, the themes that had been shown with the teased with the fluent design system uh, video now that was an old video quite back in 2016 long back in 2016 or 17 but those design were quite nice and minimalist so i would have loved to seen them see them here in windows 11 now some more changes that has have come up like if you put the mouse uh, on the maximize button you'll be getting these options to set uh, the window accordingly to snap the window accordingly for example we can snap it to the top left top right corner of the screen and uh, also there are other options if you would like to like three windows in one screen according to your requirement and wish now uh, snapping windows the animation has also changed now we are having this uh, fluent kind of uh, design that coming up with this um, so that is also the nice improvement and if we if you see that when we maximize or we restore the window to its original state the animations that has been added here are quite smooth so that is also the case now with the taskbar you can you have already seen that the animations have been changed over here 
now uh, now let us just uh, search for task manager let us see now the icons for the uh, task manager has also been changed that is pretty cool now talking about the interface it has remained the same as it was in windows uh, 10 now at this point what i think is that this windows 11 uh, version that has been released it is basically a mixture of the latest version of windows uh, 10 that has been tested by the developers like the 21h2 and the windows 10x both have been merged together to create one single operating system that is this windows 11 so that is it now they had promised a new store i don't think they have ported the new store with this now i don't have connection to the internet else i would have seen what kind of uh, changes they have done with the new store now talking about uh, widgets over here uh, okay we need internet for this talking about widgets over here this is basically the what we had uh, in windows uh, 10 the thing that had been introduced with the 21h1 update now right clicking on the desktop also shows up uh, these uh, small list that is the same thing that has been imported from windows 10 now we get the option of open in windows terminal this shows that windows terminal has been installed automatically uh, by default if we search for windows terminal here we get the app and that's nice and we can apply some pretty cool effects we can change everything over here we can have this fluent terminal kind of thing and it looks really nice and it reminds me of something you know it reminds me about uh, kde whereas this they have the same kind of design now if we see the shadows over here they have been improved a lot the shadows for have been the location has been changed more to the lower side of this of the windows and uh, that is kind of cool it's a it gives a sense of depth as if this upper window is uh, casting a shadow on the lower one maximizing also has the same fl fluid animation that i had forgot quite to talk about now right clicking here and uh, this quite well goes with the system already they have just not changed much but edited the shape of the menus menu that comes up on right clicking to uh, this small little rounded corners thing with rounded corners now let us just search for uh, command prompt and see that it is there yes we have our old terminal over here the good old terminal now again i think that microsoft is creating a redundancy with this thing well, we are having the same applications for the two things for doing two things uh, if they can somehow can make just fluent uh, the modern terminal present without the um, command prompt i think that will be without the command prompt i think that will be way more appreciated so we also get over here some pinned apps i don't think if these apps are installed like photoshop had been showed up it is more like some ad they are not installing the ad apps not ad i mean recommendation probably now uh, let's see the calculator the calculator also has the same fluent interface that we had in windows 10 so okay at least they are consistent with the def uh, design and not like file explorer that quite looks coming uh, out from some other operating system sometimes let me just close this now some other apps like the groove music if we check them out they also have this same uh, setup thing that is going up now so let's continue there and let us try something else so uh, we still have the snipping tool app over here in addition to the snip and sketch right yeah snip and sketch now if you open snipping snipping tool they already say that snipping tool is moving 
and uh, in future update okay they will be moving to a new uh, home that's great that they are planning to remove snipping tool since two things for the same work i don't appreciate that uh, that is more like blo bloating up the system with unnecessary software so let's go to the notepad and see any changes are there okay there are nice uh, which we have not noticed yet is this nice uh, shadow that comes up below our uh, menu option that is very much uh, very much fluent that is very much fluent goes with the system also we find some redesigned uh, buttons over here that are uh, there Microsoft has done a lot of work with the user interface improvement and I think and I think that this is not yet complete because if we go over to the Twitter handle of uh, Windows there they have said that this is not the final build this and more things are coming up so uh, for 24th of June so some of the wish list that I have is that I wish really that they change the file explorer it looks uh, very odd to have the same file explorer let's have few apps open here so that we can uh, get a glimpse of how uh, task view has been changed so if we click on task view we find that these apps get arranged here and okay that's it this is very much uh, same uh, we have that same feature that we um, that we were having in windows 10 that is if we drag them here we can move them to a new desktop and that's nice now if we see here we are getting some new animations over here uh, like clicking on the start button has a new animation even with the search button and whichever application we click it uh, just bounces in and out that gives a kind of uh, visual feedback that we have clicked on the icon and which is much more crisp than the older animation that we had already with windows 10 i would say that uh, not recommend you to install it on a regular computer that you use so you can use it on a uh, old one if you're like uh, an old laptop or something if you are going to install it on an old laptop then what you need to do one small little thing i'm showing you from here itself that is flash the dry iso file to the pen drive and then after flashing the file you need to open the sources folder now what you need to do is you need to get a copy of windows 10 and then mount the iso from there select all the files except for except for install the wim or install dot esd then just paste all the files over here and then you can just boot from the pen drive it uh, and then just continue with the installation and i think you will succeed